you guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Puppies, and Everything Gardening. Um, it's late June. I'm really late to planting my uh, ginger, but we're still going to do it, and we're going to um, go through the steps here in just a minute, but I wanted to share with you my garlic. Um, I did a little sample pull about five days, six days ago, just so I could see how big they were, and I think they're doing great. So probably when all this rain dries up and clears, I will pull all my garlic and we'll have a little mini garlic harvesting video. I think I've got two hard necks and one soft neck in here. Don't remember the names, the varieties, but I'll let you know on that next video. So today we're gonna take care of my ginger that um, I have procrastinated with, but it's okay, we still have time. And we're actually gonna package a couple planters so that they can come indoors with us in the fall. So let's get started. So I divided this ginger about 12 days ago. And you can see that it's kind of dried. It's got a healed wound where I broke them apart. So I am ready to plant these. And I could have planted them much sooner. I didn't even have to wait for them to heal over. I could have just broke them and planted them or I could have just waited uh, two or three days and then planted them. But I got busy and distracted and procrastinated. And so we are planting ours late. It is the third week of June and I do not have enough time for these to fully mature outside. So I'm gonna put them into pots that can be brought indoors. And that way, if I want them to become fully mature before harvesting, I can do that. Or if I want to harvest these as baby ginger or young ginger, I can do that like late October before my first frost. I may do half and half. I may harvest some, you know, the end of October. I may bring one container inside and let it become a house plant over the winter. Uh, because I'm probably not going to want to give it lights uh, or grow lights, anything like that. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and pick the ones. Um, so you can see my ginger already started to grow in my pantry, which is great. That saved me a lot of time that it was able just to go ahead and get a jump start for me. Um, but normally when you're planting ginger, you want to look for nodes these little raised areas. Um, it's kind of a feel thing too. You can kind of feel them. They're kind of just a raised area. Here's a better example. So, see that right there? Those little nodes. So the ginger growth is gonna come from there. You can see this one's starting to kind of spiral upward. And this is how you want to plant ginger. You want to plant it horizontally. That's its natural growing habit to do this. So we're going to put this in a pot and it's going to grow upwards. Um, here's another one. So we're going to plant it horizontally and we're only going to plant it about two to three inches below our soil level. You can also do this in the ground. I've done that before. Um, it's not going to have a time to fully mature depending on your zone. I'm in zone 7. Maybe if you're in zone 9 or 10, it can overwinter. Um, that's something to look up. I know for me, I can't leave it out all winter. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take these and put them in our pots. And since we already have a lot of growth, um, I think these are gonna take off really quickly. And we'll, we'll get an update in the future garden tour videos. Um, so let's go outside. You'll notice these pots are very shallow. That's what you want because you're really not gonna plant them deep. Two to three inches below the soil surface. You're gonna put that um, root in there on a, just a horizontal plane and um, it'll just shoot up. You'll get your foliage uh, growth, the green growth coming up um, from your rhizome and eventually that rhizome is going to just start multiplying and growing 
and this is like uh, the mother I guess so this part will look different when you harvest than your new fresh growth um, which will be more tender and uh, kind of a prettier color you'll you'll be able to tell the difference um, and that would be like your baby ginger or your new ginger um, and some people I think I've heard like at farmers markets they pay a lot of money for baby ginger because it is delicate and the skin isn't that thick or tough but you can see what I'm doing here I'm planting them about two inch two to three inches deep if they already have growth and I know where it should be um, in that growth um, cycle in the soil uh, that didn't even make sense but anyways I'm leaving the green stuff above the ground is basically what I'm doing and you want nice potting mix well draining uh, I do think they enjoy maybe a little more nitrogen than other plants because they are developing roots and foliage and give your plant part sun or if you're going to do full sun all day make it an understory plant 